Good afternoon, uh, and Vice Admiral Ajay Kumar Saxena. I am the controller of board ship uh, production and acquisition in our naval headquarters. Uh, so I look after uh, all production and acquisition of various ships and submarines that are getting inserted in the Indian Navy. Indian Navy today is at a stage where uh, a large number of uh, ships are already under production. When I say ships, it includes submarines, as well as a number of ships and submarines on various stages of war. Uh, as an Indian Navy, uh, we are looking at a 200 uh, ship Navy with blue water uh, uh, missions. Most of it is already achieved and some more with uh, the new ships that will get affected. Whilst we are inducting uh, new ships, we are also re inducting or decommissioning older ships. The uh, ones which have recently been uh, re inducted are the old uh, Rajput class one as well as uh, a Gudabi class. In addition, uh, smaller ships. Uh, uh, like mine supers and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, mine, uh, the missile boats, etc., are also getting re inducted with time. As and when they become uh, difficult to maintain, they get. At this moment, uh, approximately 55 to 60 ships are under various stages of construction. The total cost of these ships. Uh, is approximately 1.5 lakh. Also, uh, we have about 40 ships at various stages of ordering, and the combined cost of this would be close to 9,000 uh, or close. At this uh, juncture, uh, very recently, we have issued uh, uh, the expression of interest for 75 IE submarine project. Uh, this is being done under the strategic uh, partnership fund, which implies that there will be a strategic partner, EM uh, as well as a uh, OEM. OEM in the sense those countries which have uh, most builders who have been building submarines for the past several months. The combination of this uh, would result into a, a very uh, deep level of technology transfer and uh, which will enable the country to make our own submarines without any further uh, help from outside. Uh, this uh, special interest would lead to the uh, issuance of uh, RFP and uh, thereafter the finalization of a combination of a strategic partner and the uh, obviously, this is a very uh, long drawn process and it may take anything between two to three years for deciding the combination of strategy and partner. Shipbuilding as such is a very complex uh, uh, piece of work, if I can say, call it as a piece of work, uh, in the sense that the shipbuilding uh, is infrastructure intensive manpower intensive and it has large number of uncertainties. It starts with the design and uh, thereafter it continues all the way up to the delivery and commissioning. The entire journey from design to the commissioning is a long, long journey filled with uncertainties, filled with uh, complexities and filled with challenges. And meeting this uh, ultimately uh, results in the success. Uh,